The track forecast for Hurricane Ida has been unwavering since it initially formed on Thursday. It's the National Hurricane Center that makes the official forecasts, but they use special satellite and forecasting products from Colorado State University to help make decisions. We run those in real time. Um, and provide them to the National Hurricane Center. Kate Musgrave is one of NOAA's tropical specialists based at CSU, a group called the Cooperative Institute for Research in the Atmosphere. She says they developed a satellite analysis technique that helps identify the exact center of a developing tropical cyclone. An accurate location for the center makes the computer models more accurate. Since 1990, the margin of error for the official forecast track three days out has gone from 190 miles to now just just 75 miles. This high pressure system over the southeastern states is the big key to Ida's current forecast. It is preventing the storm from turning to the right while it moves straight north, exploiting this weakness up the middle. If the forecast for that high pressure system is wrong, then the track for Hurricane Ida will also be wrong. CSU also makes products that help forecast the intensity of Ida. It is actually the track is lined up with the warmest waters in the entire Gulf of Mexico. Musgrave says that could lead to rapid intensification when the hurricane's winds grow by more than 35 miles per hour in 24 hours. In fact, the National Hurricane Center has had rapid intensification in their explicitly in their forecasts. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.